somehow we found ourselves on the Appalachian Trail. All right, all right, all right. That was a slow Matthew McConaughey, all right. Actually, I see a blaze down here, baby. It's on the road. It doesn't follow the bike path. Um, so, today, got a lot of stuff to say. I think that's actually every day, as you know. Um, happy August 1st. We are out of the swampy, swampy July month. And so much stuff has happened August 1st. Um, something that doesn't happen to you on trail all the time. No, I think they actually take the bike path. This has been going the wrong way. There's a blaze. Yeah, but it's the map is showing me off trail. I'm gonna double check. All right, we have seemed to run into another situation where the blazes in the GPX track differ. Um, our GPX track has us going on this bike path and looping into a battle creek. A blaze on that road has you going down that road. So I don't know which one's the yeah. I don't know which one's the most recent. Um, that road kind of dead ends, so don't know where they were going with that, but. We won't take the GPX track because it makes the most sense. Um, it's longer, but it makes the most sense. So, yeah, morning, morning. Happy August 1st. And what we got in August that usually doesn't happen a whole lot on trail, you usually catch it on one side or the other of unluckiness, um, is getting a rain fly on before it pours while you're sleeping. So, last night, I woke up at like 2.20, 2.30, um, and I don't know what woke me up, but I was like, huh, okay. And then I saw like some lightning flashes or heat flashes made me check my weather. And it said around three o'clock, there were going to be some thunderstorms. So <laughs> we didn't have the fly on and that made me quickly get out of the tent, put the fly on correctly in the dark. And as soon as I had it on like tight and sealed up, it started like pouring down rain. So usually it doesn't happen that, that nicely. Usually if you're setting up the fly that you don't have on, you're actively being poured on while you're setting up the fly because you, that's what wakes you up, the rain. But we got it in the mm, perfect timing. So that was nice. That, is, that doesn't happen a lot. That's a lot of factors coming together to be nice, nice. And then also, don't know if it's because we're far enough north now or what, but awesome sleep last night. Um, it was like in the 60s, maybe mid 60s, so we could actually use the double quilt together and be comfortable. And just so much goodness, like wasn't sweating in a stank bubble. Oh, it was just glory, glory. And, and the pad's finally holding air. Oh, and the pad's finally holding air. Magpie's put enough uh, juice on the seams that... Um, yeah, I had to count all the patches I've done big agnes but a warranty um i counted all the patches there's 34 pinholes wow that i patched wow i think i finally found them all yeah so pads holding there a lot of good stuff's coming together um and we're gonna go to battle creek and get some coffee this morning let go Ooh. damn camera always malfunctioning Oh, Fire Creek, find your fire. Med and rec cannabis. And it's also a casino. Interesting. That must be some wacky laws to connect those two. Yeah. A trail to adventure. Yeah. Where does it say we should go, baby? Does it say we should go back to Vermont? No. Eastern Terminus. Oh, baby, it looks so far. Uh-oh. That worries me. The loop-de-doop? That that's not, that they're counting that for 4,600 and this is going to actually make it close to 5,000. Well, we cross that bridge when we come to it. That's worrisome. I don't, well, I don't like that. We'll live. What's this dude? You make a stinky. That's what makes the stinky, huh? Yeah.
So as you get into Battle Creek, it coincides you with this bike trail that kind of hugs the edge of it. And whew, I was thinking once we got into Battle Creek, it's a big enough city that they bug bomb. But as you can see, I am decked out in mosquito gear with uh, where it puts you. Uh, there's no wind and a lot of stagnant water. So be prepped. Being in the town don't mean you're out of the mosquitoes. I need a, I need a bodysuit. Skeeters are out. Skeeters are out. Be prepped. Oh, they're biting something so... <laughs> last day of shorts. Today is my last day of shorts for a while. I won't make this mistake again. Where's the muffler, man? Right there. So, as the trail likes to do, routes you by the county jail. Um, Battle Creek Inn, which... Oh, Ooh, baby. Yeah, um, make your judgment call. That's and a, then there's the muffler man right next door. There is. That's a county jail type of uh, type of motel. Yeah, it's the kind of motel that's got a bailiff's office in it. Yeah, so make your own judgment. Good morning. So we are in Battle Creek proper. I'm going to get a few pictures with this guy. Oh, looked like a man that I wanted a picture with. You're a man. No. Is that wrong? Yeah, that's not correct. Uh oh. Oh, I don't know how to get a picture of all of it. It's too big of a statue. It's a cool statue. How do I get a picture of all of it? What do they expect me to do? There's too many things. How? to introduce and orient you to some nearby landmarks along the linear park pathway okay okay these include the wk kellogg foundation headquarters okay the okay underground railroad statue okay the okay Kellogg house and the wk kellogg community garden go on now another point of interest is nearby mill race park go situated on. a quarter mile south of this location along michigan avenue Thank you for the audio. Just push straight the across the Battle Creek River from here is the W.K. Kellogg Foundation headquarters. Just push the, the button. Was established in That's a long audio clip. Yeah, we're, we're not going to listen to the, all the audio. Um, apparently, Battle Creek's the cereal city, so you can. There's a good connotation. There's a bad connotation. Let's hope that it's a good one. Let's go find some Kelloggs. He's caused a monument to be erected. He paid for somebody to build it. Is that, how, is that their wording, though? Yes. He has caused this monument to be erected. Uh, poor Which people. He paid someone to build it. Putting it in stone. You don't want to say you caused an erection in stone. <laughs> you can say, I... Okay, back in 1908, maybe that was something to be proud of. Yeah, but you still don't want to use the word caused an erected monument. You could say, I built an erected monument. I was a patron of the erected monument causing an erection though come on y'all y'all really know better y'all know better oh time to get schwasty let's get lit uh-huh what is this building you're a building so many bridges So amazingly, there's so much stuff around us on this beautiful river bike path, but not a coffee shop. Well, there is one. Where? But it's closed on Sundays. Oh, yeah, the one we went to? There is a Starbucks, but it's like two blocks away. Where's the Starbucks? It's over this way. If we had gone down Michigan Avenue farther and then gone on to Jackson Street. Oh, it's too far. I know. All We're right. Here, I think. Yeah. We're next to the science place. That's what it was, a high school. That's a huge high school. That is a giant high school. I just want coffee. I know, baby. Uh, Where we find coffee? We don't get coffee. I bet we'll find it at a gas station on the way out of town. I know, but that's not a coffee shop. No. I wanted to sit down and drink coffee. We can sit down at the Pleasant gas station. <laughs> And, dr and smell the diesel fumes. Yeah. All right, so the film today, you're gonna keep thinking it's the lens, but I've wiped off the lens 
and it's just a really hazy day. Like there was a straight shot when we connected up on this one road that you could see into town, it was just super hazy. Um, for you guys, you just think it's a crappy lens, but it, it's really hazy today. Um, so we're just hanging out. Uh, we stopped at some gas and go or something for a little soda. Magpie got her coffee. It's not a. Uh, really not great, but it's all right. It's not cafe coffee, but it'll do the job. It's a little bit of Buffalo Ranch Chex mix. Um, yeah, where it puts you through Battle Creek. Whoops. Where it puts you through Battle Creek, it hugs the river, this trail, the entire time. So there's really nothing there unless you walk off trail. And even walking into the downtown part where we did, um, there was nothing close enough for us to get it. So closed on Sundays also. Yeah. And that like little northern bit of Battle Creek, everything's closed on Sundays. Unless you want to go super far off to like... Like two miles south of the trail into yeah. the actual downtown. So what we got instead was a little rougher around the edges gas station. Um, what was it called? It was a Sitco. It was like a Sitco... You could see it from the junction of, what was that road called? South Kendall Street. South Kendall. Um, so we just walked up there. It had bulletproof glass or a shield glass, but it's not in the friendliest neighborhood, but you can see it from trail. So we got it. The lady was super cool. Let us fill up waters at the little tap on the soda machine. So we're happy. Um, we're gonna drink a drink, a drink, eat a little bit of snackage and yeah, continue, continue this Michigan walking. Hey, baby. We thought there'd be a nice park bench, but instead we get this big old concrete slab. Okay, baby, I got your joke. Yeah. Good job. Sadly, we find ourselves in another um, Constantine situation. Seems I find myself in these situations more often than I would prefer. Um, where there's no porta potties, there's nowhere to poop besides the poop that you have inside of you. So, the NCT, I love testing my mentality on trails, I love testing my physicality. I hate testing my poopicality and how long I can hold it for. Oh, I used to be, I don't know what happened to me AT, PCT, CDT, PNT, up until 2020, about. GDT is what did it, yeah. Every trail system, I was a morning goer. Get it out, then just walk. But now, it just pops up whenever the hell it wants to and decides to play games with my emotions. Not fun. Not fun. Baby, go give that goose a hug. Oh, the glory. Don't worry, folks. I am still batting 100 on this trail. I am still batting 100. You guys may ask what that 100 is. I am batting 100% so far on this through hike of not pooping my pants. Good job. Hello. How are you? Thank you. I'm proud of myself. Shall we? That was a, that was a test of my faith, that baby. A close one? That was a test of my faith. Hello. Yes. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. So, right after the good John over there. Oh, all you see is Magpie's hat. Port of John, right in those trees. There's actually a trail log, and we had just missed the guy. They were here yesterday. That put in the book. So we just missed the chapter. The guy that manages the chapter, I guess. So, that's cool. Trail log. <coughs> that's our first trail log of Michigan? No, we had one at Lost Nation. You're right. Not many, though. Not many in the past however many miles. So, very cool. Alright, so we've been paralleling it for a while. Now we cross it. I don't know why it doesn't make us ford. It would be a lot nicer of a trail if it made us ford these types of rivers. NCT, we got some talking to do.
Oh, they are back. They are back. Skeeters have found us once again. Really, anytime you get into a tunnel of trees, um, they won't come for you. So, this is the bumper crop that, um, yeah, the mosquito season got pushed back for us, luckily, because the peak mosquito season should have been early July. But actually, it's late July this year because we just get all types of lucky. So, trying to move quickly, trying to outrun the inevitable. You can't outrun them. You gotta live with them. Whew! All right. Gonna have some bumps today. All right, once more we find ourselves on a little bit of single track trail. And once more the mosquito nets are on. So let's, uh, let's get into it. I think this is about, I don't know, a mile or two of single track. So we'll see how it turns out to be. So far, not bad. But I've been bamboozled before. I have, my heart has been broken before. Oh, trail log. Let's see if it, it's in there. Sweet. Yeah, if this boardwalk wasn't here, I mean, it's, it's all wetlands. I do appreciate the boardwalk. Yeah. Baby, we should go to the Florida Trail after this uh -huh. and go forward some swamps. I don't, I don't think so. You know you would love it. Oh, a nice bench. Well, right here's probably not the mosquito cloud because of the wind, but we got maybe ice cream out of mind. Maybe. Always, always off. Oh, that's a great, that's one of the best water sources I've seen in Wisconsin. Um, not Wisconsin. Michigan. Yeah, this is the Wisconsin pace I'm putting down right now. This is why I finished the Ice Age in the time I did. Just don't stop, won't stop, go, go, go quick. All right. All right, so we popped out and we can't cut over yet because of course there's cars coming as soon as we want to cross the road. Come on, man. Just go. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Okay. People take the longest. Of course, the one little road where probably not one person comes on until we get here. People just get so hesitant when they see us like near the road. And yeah. Slower, and it's like, no, no. You have the right of way. You're in the giant killing machine. You just move, and then we'll go after. But no, yeah. stay trying to be polite, and it's not nice. As you can tell, we're ready for some town and ice cream. We're gonna pass through the town of Augusta, and it looks like there's an ice cream joint right on trail, so let's go find it. Wow, those mosquitoes were rough back there. We got more trail today and more mosquitoes, so we're gonna hold on to our sanity as best we can. ice cream life um this is lickety splits it's, it's good ice cream it's good ice cream it's in augusta and it's about um you can see it from trail you can see it right on trail it's like the turn for trails right behind us 
So it's about 15 or 16 from um, Battle Creek, right in there. So you don't have to carry water. So there's a Dollar General where you pass as well. Um, keep your packs light, get some ice cream, get a chili dog. So we're gonna enjoy it. What flavor did you get, Magpie? Blueberry marble. Okay. And her winner got a strawberry cheesecake. You got Oreo cheesecake? Strawberry cheesecake. Oh, you dog. Nice. All right, that was Lickety Split ice cream. So yeah, you can see it from trail. Just walking back to it now. And we're going forward. We've done eh, about 15 or 16 miles and eh, we'll do about anywhere from 15 to 20 more. So about 2.30, oh, we're moving. I ate four scoops of ice cream and I can't move much, but we'll try to move. Uh-oh, she going to say something. She turned, around, she turned around like she was going to say something. Two scoops of ice cream cups this half an hour, baby. Yeah, they did. Yeah, we were done eating at 2 o'clock. And he's like, do you want two more scoops? I'm like, are you sure you're going to be able to move after you eat two more scoops? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be fine. I can handle it. Two more scoops? Easy. I'm starving. Uh-huh. got two more scoops. And then... After taking like 15 minutes to eat them, he was like, oh, I need a nap. Yeah. And I offered to help him eat them like three times. And he was like, no, I got it. I don't need your help. Uh-huh. Hubris. Yeah. Your hubris. Four scoops of ice cream hurts. Um, uh, go there and check it out. So now I'm going to just go sweat uh, condensed milk out of my pores for the rest of the day. So we go forward. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, I'm gonna be doing too many of those. One, I'm saying all right because beautiful view. And two, um, just got done the road walk from the ice cream joint to the trailhead. And Papa Joe was uh, kicking it there with uh, the cutest little chonkiest uh, hound slash pug mix, Sophie, where we- She's eagle. Yeah, she's called a puggle. And I was able to squish her face. He knew I wanted to squish those cute little chubby cheeks. So I was able to finally squish a puppy's face. Um, not hard, of course. But why does it wash out the sky? I don't, I don't know. But um, yeah, I was able to squish that cute little chubby cheeks of that puggle. Oh, it was so cute. So thank you, Joe, for stopping by. Um, don't know how long you were kicking it there. We were at the ice cream joint for quite a while. So yeah, it was really nice to chat, um, kick it, and yeah, just meet you. You seemed like a really fun guy, and it was really nice to chit chat for a little bit. So we continue on through an awesome field. Wow, beautiful. Pretty. Maybe gonna take a picture. Pretty. Talk to me, baby, Michigan. As far as I can see. I had a feeling. Oh, baby. Go ahead and get down with it. Yeah, it is to M89. I was right. Okay. I was right, baby. You were right. You're lying, fine things. I film. Don't film me peeing. That's not nice. Okay, fine. All right, back to some single track stepping. Um, looks like we got a little bit of field action and then probably a little bit of in the woods action. Oh, the woods is scaring me though. We heard tell of giant blood sucking creatures in there, but we gotta do it and we'll go through. Aw, poor Bill. 
happen to Bill. So surprisingly, this chunk of trail, you don't want to jinx it, knock on wood, um, hasn't had mosquitoes yet. Hmm. I wonder why. It has me a little worried. But, yeah, been just really nice. Just bouncing along. I mean, it's a pretty sloppy hollow, I have to say. Look at the, the hollow right there. It's full of mud. Nickname in high school. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, I was giving her the look, folks. I was waiting for her to pick it up. But uh, I had to. Uh, I knew you were going to enjoy. I had to go ahead and do it myself. I know you had something in mind. Uh huh, how? Just from the eyebrow raises. And you kept on trying to change the. I was trying to give you material, man. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, that was a sloppy hollow. What you doing, baby? Taking a photo of the refrigerator and that's in the middle of the woods. And the mirror. And the armoire, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I better be careful. Touch the fence, baby. I don't think it's an electric fence, but I'm gonna be careful just in case it is. Give it a nice poke. Mm, no, thank you. I'll tell you something right now. Don't like that sign one bit. Mosquito habitat? No thank you. They recommend to wear something with 40% DEET. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so I think we go that way. Could be wrong. We could go this way. Um, we might go that way. There's a bike here. And a trail log. And a magpie. What baby say? Can't see. Mosquito. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ominous. That is. I haven't seen that sign anywhere else. Yeah, that's, um, yikes. 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 All right. So far, that ominous sign is just happy living. Could be the breeze. Could be something, but it was scurry. But now it's just happy living instead. Beautiful prairies. All right, so now we just finished up at trail section. Oh, there's actually a little bench with some wind that I might sit at. So we now just finished up that trail section. I think we did a road walk for the vast majority of the rest of the day. If not the rest of the day. I think this road goes all the way close to Yankee Springs. This road, road walk. So, not many mosquitoes back there. It was really beautiful. Don't know how much you've been able to hear, but some winds are ripping. Um, but yeah, that was a really beautiful chunk of trail. I was a fan. So, I'm gonna take a seat on this bench, wait for a magpie. Oh, she's not far behind. Hey, baby. Hey, hello, hi, how you doing? I know. I agree. I do agree. Check that out. These mailboxes have the NCT uh, emblem on them. I've seen them very uh, rare. I think I've seen two or three so far in Michigan that's done that, but that's pretty cool. And if you look at the skies to the right, over that field, we are going to get hit by a little bit of rain.
unfortunate. Another NCT emblem. But it's what it is. Beautiful. Enjoying the day. About getting close to six o'clock. Um, and done, eh, I don't know, 26 miles. So we're gonna probably get a low 30 today, which is still good. As long as we can keep above 30s on our full day, days of hiking, we're sitting pretty. Sit in pretty. All right, so it is 7.30, um, and we just passed 30 miles a second ago. Um, I think we've done like 30 and a half. One car, uh, not one car, one second, a car is coming. Now, as soon as I film, always without fail, I'm just a car magnet. So, yeah, 7.30. We've done 30 and a half miles right inside there somewhere. Um, so, just gonna keep petering around um, till we find camp. I don't know, we don't really have set miles. Um, we've actually, with the GPS tracker, we've taken about three and a half hours of breaks today. So even with those breaks, we're in our pace. Um, and that's what's really nice. So like this past week, we haven't done the classic definition of hiking. Like we've had to do wacky miles. We've had to do sometimes town to town hikes, but no matter what, even when we know we're getting out of town later or if we're breaking during the day, we're just getting above thirties. And it's um, really nice that we're in this stride, in this pace, um, it's where we need to be. And we're sitting within it and loving it. Um, it feels good. Our body's not broken. Um, the body just finds this natural. Um, only took 2,200 plus miles. Well, for me, I think I'm getting close to 4,000, if not already past it for the year. Um, because this year is gonna be close to a 7,000 mile year. I don't know exactly. I can do the math at the end of the trail, but yeah, so that's good. Um, feels good cruising just wanted to check in with y'all let y'all know we're still we're still walking places <laughs> all right let's see where we get oh the colors of the sky are starting to change a little bit prairieville township Good night.